the D's, the boys, our lads, I'm going to say us. Yeah, we're, I, we're a group. Yeah. We're in it together. Yeah, we are in it together. Um, we're flying. We are. We're in, uh, yeah, we're in a good spot at the moment. It's, um, it's amazing how far the club's come um, to be in this position and... Yeah, just hopefully, hopefully we can keep riding the wave because it's yeah, it's good fun to be a part of. It must be just the most amazing vibe around the place. I know it's all like high performance, so it doesn't really matter if you're six and zip, even though it does matter, or whether you're like sort of battling. Like you, you're still striving. So even like I can't imagine the vibe around the group being like, oh, you know, um, like you're taking the the foot off the pedal per se. But it must be just a like a happy place for the first time in a long, long time. Yeah, it is. Really good place to be. I think, yeah, you're right. We're not taking the foot off. I think there's still so much we can grow on, <laughs> which is um, which is great. I think we were talking to our forwards coach, Greg Stafford, yesterday, and there's just so much so much growth in our forward line and all over the ground, but in particular our forward line, our accuracy on the weekend, that definitely can improve. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's great to have, have growth and to be going so well. It's, um, yeah, it's a really good place to be. Uh, how are you finding your form personally? I know it's a little bit tough to talk about yourself personally, but um, we're going to have to hear. But uh, you are in some really, really good form. And I've, I've watched you for a long, long time being a, a massive D's Nuffy. And um, you've showed so many signs so many times. It's been so exciting. And I feel like it's finally starting to click for yourself. Uh, do you think that's accurate? Uh, I think so in a way, yeah. I'm probably not playing the best footy I can <laughs> I think I've still got a lot of scope for improvement but it's it's obviously really pleasing to be in the team and I think I've been striving for some cons- some consistency for a long time and I think missing out and being in and out of form in and out of the team for so many years it's it's really nice to be comfortable in the side at the moment and I'm, I'm really hoping I can just continue that and grow and yeah hopefully this is the start of a yeah, a, a long time in the team and, um, yeah, some consistent performances. Um, you're really close with uh, the forwards, obviously, um, yep. because you're seeing them every day and whatnot. So I think what's been really impressive is any sort of interview or any sort of dialogue that I've seen from like your Tommy McDonald's, your Ben Brands, your Luke Jackson's, yourself, is that it's not this, like it's competitive and everyone knows that spots are up for grabs. It's, it seems super, super supportive mm. as well. Uh, so how, how do you find that environment where you're all sort of fighting for the one position, but also you're all just getting around each other and trying to make each other the best teammates? Yeah, I know. It's an interesting position because you're right. It's like T-Mac, Benny and I are basically fighting for the same spot um, and the relationships between us don't change. Like we're all, yeah. we all want the same thing, but we all want to support each other to get there. So for a lot of last year, especially the back half when it was just those two playing their support for me was massive and even in the grand final like that they knew what I was going through like obviously I would love to be a part of it but I think the way that they were able to support me and make me feel a part of it yeah was um was so special and I think this year even on the weekend like Tommy was unfortunately missed out um but even half time still talking to me I asked him. For, I was asking for advice and just a little guidance on um, on the game, and he was so helpful. So, yeah, it's it's amazing the relationship we have as uh, as the tools down there, and yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just a really special place to be. Um, you brought it up then, and I want to talk about it. Uh, so you were saying that those blokes were really uh, really supportive and really key for your time over when the boys were playing in the prelim and playing in the grand final. But I'd also argue that. From what we heard, like the club had two weeks off between the qualifying final and the and the prelim, and then they had two weeks off between the prelim and the grand final. From what we heard, it was the training that kept like the skills sharp in that time. Yeah. So like I I would almost argue like that extended squad probably played one of the most important uh, roles in any grand final side. Yeah, yeah, it was. There was two weeks that we had off. We basically had full practice matches. So it was one, <laughs> ones v twos basically. And which, I, at, which I think we had to because yeah. I'm saying we, this is funny. Um, hey, it's us. <laughs> which, we're, we're all in it. <laughs> which I felt like they had to because we were hearing that other clubs were going to take it light because they didn't win injuries. Yeah. And then I'd hear Goody say, no, we're going to crack in. And I liked hearing that because I felt like it would keep us match hardened. Yeah, definitely. That was the messaging and Burjo was, was huge on that. Just getting match like intensity and because we know we can't take the foot off the pedal and as a group especially playing in that two side 
we wanted to win like yeah that's what we were doing like, we wanted to push that team because we wanted to be ready if our chance was was going to come and um yeah and <laughs> there were some great games like some of the some of the stuff that was in there was full on like vandenberg going through the guts just tackling like, and um k chandler kicked one of the best goals i've ever seen just running five bounces through the middle it was awesome so like that made it so much more enjoyable because it was like our game for yeah. the week so um yeah that was a lot of fun can you talk us through what uh the sort of grand final experience was for yourself so you weren't in the best 22 uh for the flag but you had front row seats to witness a, something that hasn't happened in 57 years and I, I don't think that that sort of sinks in with a lot of people because it's sort of just said but that is such a long long time and like I even think of like uh, people who have come and gone in life who have gone for the days that couldn't witness the 57 years I like couldn't sort of yeah be able to witness the the, the flag at the end of it so um, can you talk us through what it was like being there sort of as a D supporter but also as like a teammate of all these blokes as well yeah it was it was an amazing the whole finals was amazing like there was just a different buzz <laughs> amongst the group and amongst the supporters like i remember being in the box for the prelim and that was next level like the game we played was so special and then the grand final especially like i looked over at hunty clayton's just kicked the goal hunty's hugging all the supporters <laughs> it was unbelievable like we were going nuts in the box and yeah. um and there was just such a buzz like yeah it was just amazing and like not even playing like just looking around embracing it all and being like on the fence for the final siren or be able to run on the ground was so yeah so awesome so yeah it was just such an amazing time and like there was a lot of tears around there was, like the supporters were um yeah we're losing it but it was yeah, it just <laughs> it was just so great one of the most amazing images that I saw was when all the players ran onto the field in the Guernseys yeah. and that like really got me going. And then I remember seeing like the big huddle and like all the players that didn't play jumping in over the top. What were you thinking like when the siren went? Like what was the feeling when you were running out, getting around the lads? Yeah, well, I ran straight to Benny Gibson because <laughs> we've been mates since primary school. And I know was he how- a Melbourne supporter yeah, growing up? Yeah, massive. So... <laughs> He's been through it all, so I just went straight to him, gave him massive. I'm like, we we did it, yeah, and um, that was so that was awesome. And then I just jumped on everyone I could find. Um, yeah, B- big Benny Brown gave me a big hug, and yeah, it was awesome. Um, yeah, it was like on the ground, like just the crowd, everyone was just so emotional, like that. Yeah, they'd reached the the peak, and <laughs> it was uh, yeah, so cool to see.